Welcome to this video on male infertility. Uh, today we'll be focusing on why chromosome microdeletions. My name is Dr. Ryan Flanagan. I'm a urologist and a trained microsurgeon in male reproduction. So why chromosome microdeletion refers to men that are found to have a region missing from their Y chromosome. There's three typical types of deletions that can occur. There is an AZF-A deletion, AZF-B, and an AZF-C deletion. These basically refer to three different regions on the Y chromosome that the genetic content is missing. So how can a Y chromosome microdeletion cause infertility? Luckily, the Y chromosome has a lot of genetic material that doesn't code for genes or proteins. However, there are some critical genes that are required for sperm production that exists on the Y chromosome. Therefore, if some of these genes are missing within a given Y chromosome microdeletion, one of those regions that's missing, then these men may fail to produce sperm. So when men are coming to the fertility clinic and they performed a semen analysis and there's no sperm in the semen or even less than 5 million concentration of sperm, then typically we'll do a battery of tests. This might include blood hormone testing and genetic testing. When you do the genetic testing, we'll typically order a karyotype, which looks at the number of chromosomes, and a Y microdeletion test, which really zones in on sections of the Y chromosome. Now, when we see non-obstructive azoospermia, this is defined as when the testicles are not properly producing sperm, and therefore there's no sperm identifiable in the semen. And we determine this based on history, physical exam, and some of the hormone profile. This is the scenario where we can see Y chromosomes uh, come up. So Y chromosome microdeletions may occur in about 7.6% of men with non-obstructive azoospermia. So if you find yourself in this scenario where you have a Y microdeletion, what are the potential options for fertility? Well, if we look through all of the medical and surgical literature, if you have a complete AZF-A or AZF-B deletion, then there's been no reports, unfortunately, that have had sperm in the ejaculate or ever retrieved from the testicle. Now, there are some exceptions with partial deletions in some of the older studies that didn't fully characterize the entire region that they were testing. So there's some grayness in literature, but as far as we know, complete AZF, A and B deletions haven't been compatible with sperm production so far to date. However, if you have an AZF C deletion, then there's certainly some potential for fertility. In this group of men, about 38% have sperm present in their semen. So if you're in this boat and you have sperm present with an AZF C deletion, often what I'll recommend is to consider cryopreserving or freezing a sample of sperm. In this case, if we happen to have variability in sperm production over time, and we have much lower numbers, this could serve as a plan B that you could use uh, at some point in the future if we can't produce fresh sperm in the ejaculate. However, amongst the 62% of men that don't have any sperm in the semen, what we can do is perform a surgical procedure to try to extract sperm from the testicle. So when we're trying to perform a surgical sperm retrieval for men with AZFC Y microdeletions, the typical approach that we use is something called a microdissection testicular sperm extraction. We refer to this as microtesty for short. This relies on the concept that within the testicle, even though the majority is not producing sperm and we don't see any sperm in the semen, there are these rare niches of tubules that are typically the factories for making the sperm within the testicle. These rare regions might be making a small amount of sperm. And we can identify those using an operating microscope with again, about 20 to 25 times magnification and look for subtle differences where these tubes are slightly larger, slightly healthier looking, and we try to select for those precise tubes, pull them out, process them, and try to find these rare sperm. The success rates for this microtesty procedure is approximately 47%, specifically for AZFC deletions. Now this is a number from the medical and surgical literature from a meta-analysis, which is essentially a study of studies. So they looked at 32 studies and on average of all the different centers and surgeons trying to extract sperm, about 47% of men were successful. Now, when we get sperm that's retrieved from this procedure, there's usually not that many and they're not particularly motile. So this usually commits us to using the sperm for something called IVF ICSI. Now, 
with IVF ICSI, what this involves is eggs are retrieved from the female partner and we have the sperm from the microtessi and one single sperm is injected into each individual egg. This combination is then observed very carefully under a microscope in the lab for several days. We watch for fertilization and then growth into an embryo somewhere between three and seven days. Once the embryo uh, has formed and it looks healthy, then typically this will be transferred into the uterus of your partner and will be monitored for a clinical pregnancy. So in this case, again, looking at the literature, in couples with men that have an AZFC deletion, we typically see a fertilization rate of just under 60%. This then translates to transferring the embryo and a clinical pregnancy rate of just under 30%. And then a live birth rate, so all of those factors being considered of about 23.4%. However, there are many critical variables that can impact the success rates. Female factors are certainly one of those. And to get a really good idea of what your potential success rates are, it's best to have a face-to-face -face discussion with both your male fertility expert and your female fertility expert. A question that I often get asked in the clinic is, do these why chromosome microdeletions impact the potential offspring of children. So if you were to have a son, a boy from a father that has a Y microdeletion, that boy will also inherit this Y microdeletion. So there's a good chance that they will have some difficulties with fertility at some point down the road. What we know from some of the genetic studies is that the section deleted from the Y chromosome tends to be about the same size, sometimes a little bit larger, than the father when we do a comparison. However, if you have a daughter, the Y chromosome microdeletion won't be passed down. This is because in women, they have two X chromosomes. So that means that you're going to get an X chromosome from your father and an X chromosome from your mother. And therefore, there's no possibility in passing down this Y microdeletion. Elsewhere in the medical literature, looking at other potential health concerns, the vast majority of the literature does not suggest that there's any increased risk of health concerns compared to the general population. So in summary, AZFC Y chromosome microdeletions or partial AZF A, AZF B deletions may be compatible with rare sperm production. This could be detected in the ejaculate in some individuals, just under 40%, and just over 60% where there's no sperm detected in the semen then typically we can try to ex extract this from the testicle using a micro -tessie. And this provides the best chance of retrieving sperm. If we do find sperm, we typically have to use it for IVF ICSI where they use a sperm and an egg and they inject the sperm into the egg. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like more information, feel free to visit my website or the YouTube channel listed here and my Twitter handle below. Thanks very much.